Right, so I'm here with Victor. Yeah. He's showing me a demo of the smart wallet functionality yep. of, the, of the pillar wallet. We have a test wallet right here. I'm recording the screen as well so we can check it out uh, at the same time we're talking here. Um, I have some fake ether, half in ether. Uh, I wish it was real. I wish it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so okay, so what do I need to do to like activate the, the first? Thing? Well, we're not forcing anyone to upgrade smart wallets. We hope everyone upgrades. Right. But uh, as you can see here in the top left, you can see an upgrade. Yeah, item. okay. If so you go tap there, on that, upgrade. And, and then you get you some nice little wall design screen that tells you the benefits of upgrading. Right. Okay, let's say I want to go ahead. Yep. And you got okay. more education because they really want you to understand what's going on and how big this change is. Since, since I have you with me, I'm not reading anything. I'm just going around. Going ahead. <laughs> so, recovery agents. I'm going to put Spiller Wallet. Yeah, recovery agents is a really interesting concept. So, with 12 words, you, with the key based wallet, uh, the only way to recover is 12 words. And so if you lose it, you're screwed. Okay. Um, we want to move away from that. We want to provide you with a world where you can actually lose your 12 words. Uh, yeah, your dog ate the paper you wrote that from. Uh, as, it, as it happens. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Quite sure. Quite frequently <laughs> to me. Uh, and want to right now we're providing many ways for you to recover a wallet. One is social recovery. You can tag friends as trusted friends. Let's say you tag six friends, and if four of them confirm your identity of a new device, of a new cell phone, you're mm. gonna get your wallet back to you. All right. And you're gonna use smart contracts to do that. All right. Or in this case, as a test wallet doing what we call pillar recovery, we're just having you confirm a cell phone and doing a uh, one-time password to get your cell phone, just recover. But, uh, this is not our preferred way to do this, social recovery. Would, but at the same time, you could have an engage, let's say, a, a bank or a custody agency, or even service people could provide to actually recover the wallets for you in an emergency. This is something mm. you can do. Right, so it, it, okay, so I can have like an actual, like, I don't know, governmental like entity to confirm my identity for me? In that uh, case, in the future, maybe? Yeah, that, that's one of the options. Uh, mm -hmm. Really want to make this a marketplace of possible recovery solutions so people can do whatever they're comfortable with. Right. Instead of forcing them on doing one way or the other. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'll do next. Okay. So I've now edited uh, the amount of ETH that I have available for me. Um, why, why, why did I have to do that? Uh, this is, in fact, just because it's just a prototype. Oh, okay. Uh, but you, as you're doing your first transaction to the smart wallet, you need to send your existing assets to the smart wallet, so you need some gas to pay for that. Okay. Uh, when you actually roll out to production, we're going to calculate the amount of gas you need. You should store and just say, well, you must leave this amount over. Okay. But right now, yeah, that's that's manual because that's the development wallet. Okay, perfect. So next. Please confirm that the details above, below, sorry, are correct before deploying your smart wallet. Yeah, that's Recovery pretty agencies, much tokens, what Yeah, perfect. Say. Just what I just did. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. Okay, create the smart wallet. Yep. Let's do it. I suppose the pin one, 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 one. This takes like a, a couple steps. One, we're transferring all assets in the background, then deploying a smart contract. So this <clears throat> might take some time. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do in the production version is send you uh, a push up notification when it's done. So okay. you can just walk and do something right. else. In um, our case here, we are going to use the magic of, of, of cinema yeah, to that's edit it. this ahead right now. So as you can see, now we've uh, waited for uh, a couple of minutes. Uh, but as you said, we won't have to wait that long. Yep. Because uh, new users uh, will also already have this smart wallet set up for them, so there will be no waiting time. Yes, that's right. Correct. Perfect. So explain to me what, like, I can see here we have smart wallet on the top right corner there. Yep. Um, what now? Like, what, what's, what's the next step? So this is where 
This is the next evolution of how wallets are being built. Your funds are no longer now held on a key. They're held in a smart, con smart contract, and your keys on the device just manage the smart contract. Mm. Uh, this allows us to build, to change the way you build wallets, like recovery. You're no longer bound to 12 words. We can pick and choose and build this in a myriad of ways. Mm. And more important than that, it opens a small concept, high rear, called a pillar tank. Mm -hmm. If you click on it, yeah. yeah, sure. So pillar tank is uh, our beginning of our payment network. So a pillar tank is the amount of pillar you have staked and from which you can go and make transactions without paying fees with instant confirmations through a state channel. Okay. And more than that, you. Even if the, you're staking pillar, you can actually use it to send any asset and you're going to consume from your pillar balance the equivalent amount uh, to exchange that token. Oh, okay, awesome. So, okay, so this is like for um, the uh, instant transactions we were talking about in the other video. So if I want, if I, want to, I can fund uh, this thing, and what does it say? The to total stake is 10 ETH. Uh, just uh, that's actually a, a spelling mistake because okay. it's supposed to be 10 pillar. Okay, um, just because back when you're starting developing, you don't have pillar contracts on testnet. Okay, so we just do testnet ETH because it's quite faster, right? But right. Uh, for the real production version, that's all in okay. pillars. So, again, I use this uh, tank. Uh, to um, put the stake in so I can open the channels to trade with just another another person or I can trade with anyone? Yeah, you should trade to anyone. Like peer-to-peer uh, -peer transfers, when you transfer to a friend, right. are the beginning of this, but they're the last, in, the least interesting part of it. Okay. Uh, the build of this comes when you actually use this to transact with services. So you could actually use, for example, NFC to do something like Apple Pay or Samsung Pay and have a stamp confirmation on the machine and use this to actually start paying for funds in the real world. Oh, awesome. Or, which is the mo more, what I like, mo have you seen that, uh, the lemonade stand video? The, the, the one the guy trying to pay with crypto? Yeah. The dogs? Yeah, okay. it, it reflects the reality of the apps. If you need a coin for every single app you're going to interact, that, that's impossible. You don't, mm. you don't want to know about these coins. But when you start integrating the apps with the pillar payment networks, you just need your pillar payments. And you have your pillar tank, and every time you interact with another D app, you're going to make the conversion in the background for you. All right. And this is all instant, this is all fast, with no transaction fees and allows you to actually solve the usability problem for crypto. So you can actually interact with any kind of dApp. You can go to Algo or any other big dApp. And without having its base token, just with your pillars, you can interact with any one of them. And it's way safer than using you know, like a hot wallet or something like that? Uh, yeah, smart contract based wallets, they're way safer because the key you use to interact with the contract, you can set limits to. Oh. So, for example, if you want to is have a kid... Sorry, is that, is that where you get into personas as well? Yes, for sure. Okay, cool. Uh, so, if you want to give your kid access to the wallet, you can send a spending limit uh, per month for that key that's on the phone. Just for example, the amount of her or his allowance for a month and say, well, for a month, this can expand 100 pillars. Mm -hmm. Or if you're in a safer phone that you keep for large volume transactions mm -hmm. and you actually want to buy a house with pillars, maybe that's you're not going to have a spending limit. Um, but for day-to-day -day usage, you can pick spending limits or mm -hmm. actually do transaction monitoring. I can, and there are many safety scenarios that we could not do with key-based wallets, we can now do with smart contract-based wallets. Right, so uh, for example, like if I, if I own a company, like if, I, if I'm the CEO of Pillar and I want to like give everyone like free transport money, so I set up a, a key for everyone and send them like an allowance of like per month uh, uh, transport money, for example.
For and sure. then they can use and that. And they all be sharing the same wallets, but awesome. only spending what you want. Right. And then it's like the company money that's going straight to them, but like with that allowance in set. Yeah. That and using make. the money that's in the, 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 the tank. Yes. For that. That's amazing. That's very cool. Okay. Okay. So this is interesting, exciting stuff. Uh, that is for me. Okay. Okay. Um, so question time. Where do I put my pillar tokens to make it better? On the pillar tank. Yeah. If my tokens are on the pillar tank, they are already meta. Yes. We, we said right. that in the white paper. Now we're doing. <laughs> okay. Read the the white gray paper. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Gray paper. Gray yeah. paper. Yeah. Gray, 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 gray. Read the gray paper. <laughs> Another question. Um, if I want to not like if I'm an old uh, pillar key based wallet user, if I want to not have the smart wallet for some reason. Oh, for sure. Uh, that's the whole idea is the system is trustless. You say, well, I don't trust per smart contract. Uh, that's a bad idea. But uh, yeah, you, you're free to do so. We're just providing you the tools to have those features. Right. Uh, you're not obliged to use them. Uh, even in payments, if you say, well, I don't want to use the new pillar payment network. I just want to do vanilla transactions. You're, you're free to do so. Even new users, they will receive a smart wallet, a smart contract wallet right in the beginning, but there's still a toggle in the upper left corner. They can just use one of the key based wallets if they want to. Right, and the toggle is right here, right? Yeah. yeah, there you go. I can like activate or deactivate as I please. Right. So I, can, I, I could like go to like trans, transform into a smart wallet and then go back if I wanted? Uh, this is a new wallet here. Like, okay. A, Transformation is you have your key based wallet, you're moving some funds into your new smart contract based wallet. Right. Doesn't mean your old wallet went away. It's oh, okay. still there. Right, right. So, like, I, in, in a sense, I have like two wallets. Yes, you do have two oh, wallets. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, it's not in a sense. It's, yeah, I have exactly. two. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I understand. So, um, another question I have is um, Is this the final design? Is this like what it will look like? Definitely not. Okay. Uh, so one of the big questions for us design-wise was how to introduce personas, multiple uh, key, key management, uh, like spending limits. It's all big design concepts. Uh, and we want to keep this grandma wallet philosophy, try to make this very smooth and uh, average and accessible to people who are not in the crypto space. So we still have a few more design interactions and design sprints to go over. Uh, so no, this design is subject to change, and okay. I'm guessing it's still going to change a lot. Okay. Another question I have is um, in that in that scenario that I painted, like if I I have a company, I want to like distribute funds to pillar like like to other other smart wallets for my employees. Um, how do I do that? Like, is that is that like I go through my address book and like just shoot out, or how how do I do that? Uh, so yeah, we. This would be like if everyone's sharing a wallet, if a group of people, you would, someone would create a wallet in the first phone, and then you're just adding new phones to this wallet. Oh, okay. One of the things we're doing this change uh, is we're changing Pillar from being a single device. Uh, right now, you can't really run Pillar on two phones. It doesn't really work that well. Mm -hmm. To actually being able to support multiple devices. That's only possible with the smart wallet? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, and it, it, would, it, would it be possible to have like a, a desktop version of the smart wallet in the future? Yeah. One the nice thing about this, we can go into supporting tablets, we can go into supporting desktop versions, and that's what we want to do, in fact. Okay. So, so awesome stuff, but um, what, 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 is, what is left for this to be a reality? So, most of the plumbing is done. So, okay. most of smart contracts. Uh, server side for supporting services. Uh, now we need to finish the, all the design and front end. Right. We're looking to make this go live in the if Berlin time frame or s s somewhat before that. Mm -hmm. uh, probably maybe do a, a test version before that as well. Cool. Awesome. Great stuff. Great stuff. Are you excited? I'm excited. I want to, I want to, Pay my employees <laughs> with pillar. It will be there nice. are many. Employees. You have many employees. <laughs> they set the set the one man band. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so looking forward to this. Uh, very nice talking to you, sir. As always, a pleasure. 
And um, keep tuned. See you next time. Obrigado, Brasil.